everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin. If you're new here, I focus on energy related products, building DIY systems and things to simplify your life. And this is part five to a six part series on the Blue Eddy EP800. If you haven't checked out those other videos, I'll put a card up here in the right hand corner so you can check out all the different videos that I put out on this system. And I'll have links in the description below. And if this is the first video that you've seen on my series, this is still going to be a very helpful video for you because I want to talk about an overview of the EP800 and things that I would have done differently if I had to do it over again. I've had this installed since November of 2023 and today is May 1st of 2024. So this is going to kind of act like a six month review as well because I now can identify what I like and dislike about the EP800. And for anyone that's not familiar with the Blue Eddy EP800 system, this is an energy storage system, otherwise known as an ESS. And this is slightly different than what you're seeing out of your larger portable power stations because this is hardwired in and stationary. Unlike the AC500, which is considered a portable power station because you don't have those direct connections. So you have plugs that you can unplug you know, for your charging of this. And if you're powering a sub panel box with it, you actually use a wire or a plug that plugs into this and it powers the essential loads. So this will act as a different type of system than what we're seeing out of the EP800, which is a more dedicated system. And for me, the ESS systems are a better solution when we're talking about powering a house. But depending on your needs, the AC500 might be a great solution for you if you need to power like a shop like I wanna do, and you got an RV that you wanna transfer it into at different times. And typically, you'll get more power output out of an ESS system than you will a portable power station. And I've heard that Blue Eddy is working on a solution to be able to connect two of these together that would give you some serious output. <laughs> Now, if you had two of these units combined together, now you're talking a whole lot. You wouldn't even have to worry about, uh, you know, is it, if I got my heater on and the fridge is on and the, I just turn everything on, two units would be able to handle it. Be able to back up an entire house using a ton of energy. We could do that with just one unit. When you put two of those in parallel, you're going to see a system that now is going to become a dedicated unit for every appliance in your property which would offer me the solution to even powering this bad boy even the most power consuming appliance that we have in the house the electric furnace although i'm not sure if that's official yet it's definitely something to keep an eye out for let's talk about what you receive when you buy the ep800 and the b500 batteries now you could buy this system with just the ep800 and two batteries that's basically your starter kit this is the ep800 with three batteries and you can get it with an additional battery up to four batteries giving you a total of around 20 kilowatt hours of capacity of backup because each one of these batteries are 4960 watt hours each giving me close to 15 kilowatt hours of backup i would highly recommend getting this nice sturdy steel base that holds the batteries up off the floor or up off the ground additional required items that you're going to need is the home integration kit so this basically is going to move your breakers from this panel or your main service panel over to a sub panel and that's what's going to back up all the different circuits that you find to be your essential loads converter or equipment will need an ac disconnect i'm using a 60 amp ac disconnect pull style like you just pull that out you can use the switch style like i installed outside on my solar system. Additionally, I have a outside DC disconnect along with an interior DC disconnect that connects into the inverter that has its own DC disconnect as well. And you may be asking, why do you have so many disconnects on this system, Justin? Well, the reason is I have a DC disconnect outside is because if we can't access interiorly, then I need to be able to disconnect it outside. And if we're on the interior, what makes sense, the fastest way to disconnect it would be right here, especially being that we have two disconnect panels right here. So we have everything within arm reach to turn off the system if we need to in an emergency situation. And once I convert this mobile array into more of a stationary unit, I'll add another disconnect for each one of the branch that I create. And that leads me into my first regret is not having a more stationary system 
for my EP800. And that's my own fault because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do here, but I think I have figured it out and I'm creating something massive right here that I think you guys are gonna wanna see in the future. And even with six panels, this thing has performed flawlessly. Now those panels are 400 watt rated with an additional 100 watts uh, from the back side, which is called a biofacial uh, panel. And if you want more information on those, I'll have links in the description below, but those are Aptos solar panels, 400 watt biofacial, and they have paired perfectly with this Blue Eddy EP800 because I'm actually getting more than 400 watts per panel out of those, especially on a sunny day like today. And if you can get them up off the ground and have that white reflection like gravel below them, you'll even get more out of them. So that would be a great pairing for your Blue Eddy EP800. Or if you don't know how to do those type of things and you want more information on that, Blue Eddy does have a solar program that you can reach out to Blue Eddy and they can put you in contact with the right people to build your system for you. And let's talk about the capabilities of the EP800 real quick. You can have a total solar input of 9,000 watts and it can output almost 7,700 watts. And it's most certainly capable of that 7,700 watts because I have tested this many, many times to see if I can get it to trip or if we would have any problems out of it doing it under an extreme load test. And I've had absolutely no problems out of it. And you can see some of those tests in my previous videos if you wanna check those out. And this system can easily power all the lights in your property, uh, refrigerators, freezers, washer, dryer, and even hot water heaters and do it all at the same time. Another thing that I would have probably changed if I had to do over with is I would install this outside. If you've been with me for any amount of time on my channel here, you know I like testing things kind of to the extreme. And that's one thing I didn't get to test about the EP800 is how it actually holds up out in the weather. Although it's rated to completely do that and I've seen other people that have it installed outside and have no problems out of it, I personally haven't had the opportunity to do that. So that's one thing that I would, might even change in the future just to be able to test it out on the outside. And this is gonna sound very very weird coming out of my mouth because I can't find anything negative to say about the performance of the EP800. And that's very odd for me because I can usually always find something that I dislike about a system. And in this situation, this thing has performed 100% exactly like it's supposed to with absolutely no problems. I'm gonna to continue to test this thing out and report back to you guys. So this is not my last video on the EP800, but I did wanna give you kind of a six month update and let you know how I feel about it up to this point and kind of share with you things that I would have changed and things that I like about it. So if you found this video helpful in any way, be sure to support the channel and smash the thumbs up button. That's the only thing that I ask. It really does help me out. So until next time, stay powered up.